Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this teeny tiny little beaded star. Okay, so to make this uh, tiny little star, it's got little beads on each point like this. We are going to be using some quite thin yarn and here I'm going to have got, I've got some blue and this is 100% cotton and I don't know the exact weight of this because it's one of those annoying yarns that don't seem to want to tell you um, but as you can see it is very thin so it's probably what two ply or something and with that yarn you want to get five beads now the beads that I'm using are teeny tiny little beads as well it really doesn't matter what size bead you use or what size yarn you use. I just happen to want to make a very small little star. You just need to make sure that the yarn that you use and the beads that you use fit. So this yarn needs to be able to go through the bead of your choice. Okay. And also when you use, when you are beading on your little beads, when you're threading on your beads. So let's put those down because they are very, very small beads. So when you are use, when you're threading on your beads, you need to use a needle. Now this is just a normal sewing needle, but your needle size needs to be um, obviously small enough to go through the center of the bead, and but you must also have an eye big enough to be able to thread on your yarn as well. Now remember when you thread on your yarn, which I'm going to do now. Let's try and do this on camera, shall we? Let's get a nice clean edge to begin. Always helps with threading. And picking up our yarn, I'm just going to try and thread this directly because normally I fold it over and thread it through, but that would make it just too thick. So I'm going to try. I might just dampen that in a little bit of water. Lots of water. Dampen the end in a little bit of water, that can sometimes help as well get <laughs> the worst through. Okay, so there we go. Managed to thread that on, on camera as well. <laughs> now when you thread it on like this onto a needle, because you'll need a needle to thread on your beads, but um, just remember that your yarn will be doubled over at the end here so when you thread on your bead you need to make sure that that's not doesn't become too thick that you can't get your bead on so but like I said you can make the same start using a thicker yarn and bigger beads as well so it doesn't doesn't really matter I just happen to want to make one that's really small so I'm going to thread on my teeny tiny beads so they clipped at the bottom this is a very very sharp needle so be careful using sharp needles. So we need five little beads, like so. And they're just a little bit too tight just to get over to the edge. So what you can do is get some, I've got some jewellery making pliers here, but if you just get some pliers and hold the end of your needle, like so, you can just, should be able to just pull. There we go. Put it over that little threshold of thicker yarn. There we go, and they're much looser now on our thread. So there we go, we've got our little five beads threaded onto our yarn. Okay, so now we are going to move on to making the star. Now for the star, you're going to need, it's a good idea to get yourself a pair of scissors as well, but we're going to be using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. So just, you know, a small crochet hook that you can find around the sort of 2.5 millimeter. You might have 2.75, you may even have a two millimeter one. So you want to use a fairly small hook size, depending on the uh, type of yarn that you're using, obviously. If you're using a thicker yarn and bigger beads, you may want to opt for a bigger size hook as well. But we're just going to put these beads just down, just leave them relaxed on the end and forget about them for a bit. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain four to begin, our very thin yarn. So we're going to chain four. Let's do a little slip knot. Let's just move our little one out of frame there. Okay, so let's chain four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
ici. Three and four. Okay, so we chained four. We're going to put our hook into our first chain. We're going to form a little loop of our chains. So find your first chain. <laughs> Get it? There we go. Let's put your hook in your first chain, bring the yarn through that first chain, then bring it straight through the loop on your hook as well to do a little slip stitch. And that creates a little loop of your chain joined at the beginning and the end. And in the middle, that's our first chain there, so don't confuse the center hole with that first chain. In the middle, you should see the hole where you're in the middle of your four chains. <laughs> Get my words out. We're going to put our hook into that center. Okay, so we're going to go through the middle of this loop. Be careful not to go into your chain one hole there, which has become quite big. You want to get that center hole. Okay, and put our hook in there, and we're going to do five single crochet. Now, this pattern is in US terminology. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our yarn through the center, then just wrapping it around your chains, we are going to do single crochet. You want five of these, so there's one. Make it easier to do the more you do because you can see that center hole now has opened up as our chains have become flattened underneath our single crochet. So we're going to put our hook back in there again, do another single crochet, two, so we want five. So go back in there again for another one, back into the center, bring the yarn through. Three, back into the center, four, and one more, back into the center, bring the arm through, five. Okay, so we've got five single crochet, one, two, three, four, five. Then find that first single crochet that you did, which is there. And we're going to put our hook into that first single crochet, going under both loops. Bring the yarn through that first single crochet and straight through the loop on your hook to join the round with a little slip stitch. Okay? So by the end of that first round, we can pull that little tail end, bring in the center hole a bit. So by the end of that first round, you should have five single crochets. You've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're going to work on our little um, star shapes, the little points. And our beads are still sat down here, well out of the way. Bring them up as and when we need them. Okay, so to make a point, what we do is we chain two to begin. Chain one and two, and that's going to count as a double crochet. Then we're going to yarn over and going back into that same first single uh, first single crochet that you just slip stitched into. We're going to go back into there, and this is where we're going to create our first point. So go back into there and do a double crochet. Pull through two, pull through two. Okay. And yarn over again, and we're going to do another double crochet in the same stitch. Go back into the same stitch. got another double crochet. So we're counting the first two chains as a double crochet, then we've done one, another double crochet and another double crochet. So we've got three double crochets effectively because we're counting those first two chains as a double crochet. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, chain one, and this is very similar to my vintage granny square. Um, if you've made that you may recognize some of these stitches. So chain one, then we're going to do a treble crochet. To do a treble crochet, we yarn over twice, so one and two, yarn over twice, put your hook back into that same stitch again, bring the yarn through. Now whenever you're doing a double crochet or bigger in US terminology, we just pull through two until we get to the end. It's a nice easy way to remember bigger stitches. So we yarn over, pull through the first two loops, okay, yarn over again, pull through the next two loops. Leaves us with two, then yarn over, pull for the last two. And you've completed a treble crochet. 
Now then what we're going to do is we're going to start introducing our bead. We're going to do three little chains, but we're going to do one chain to begin. So chain one, okay, chain one, then stop and we're going to bring up our first bead. So let's bring up our first bead. Okay, leave those other four tucked down there. Get your first bead and just bring it up to your crochet, basically. Then we're going to do another chain, okay, tucking that bead is now secure into your crochet and then do another chain. So you do three chains in total, but you add the bead after the first chain. Then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the top of our treble. So there's our treble and there's the stitch at the top. So we're just going to put our hook into there and do a little slip stitch. You just need to make sure to keep this yarn you're working with over this side of the bead just to keep a nice neat pico because you're creating a little pico on the edge. Let's bring the yarn through and straight for the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. Okay, now you've got a nice little pico on the end with a bead at the top. Then we're going to bring our little star point back down. So we're going to chain one, then we're going to do going back into the same stitch again, do a double crochet. Then we're going to do another double crochet, the same stitch again. Let's get those two double crochets. Okay. Then we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to slip stitch in the same stitch again. So all those stitches are going into that same stitch. Okay. Do a little slip stitch. And there we go, there is our first star point created with a little bead at the top. See all these scratches from these needles. Sorry about that. Okay, so we'll just repeat that another four times. Oops, another four times. So next thing to do is what we're going to do is find the next stitch along on this main circle. The next stitch along and do a little slip stitch just so we can move over to the next stitch. Okay, do a little slip stitch. Then we're going to chain two, one and two. Then do our two double crochets. So yarn over, go back into that same stitch you just slip stitched into and do one double crochet. Yarn over again, go back into the same stitch, do another double crochet. So you've got your chain two and your two double crochet, just like you did here. Then we're going to chain one, chain one, then we're going to do our treble. So we yarn over twice. Go back into the same stitch again, bring the yarn through, then we just yarn over and pull through two until we get to the end. So we yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, always remember to yarn over, yarn over, pull for the next two, yarn over, pull for the last two. Okay, then we're going to do our little pico, but we need to do one chain first, chain one, then we bring up our next bead. That up to our work. Then we're going to chain two, so chain one just to tuck that in, chain another one. Okay, so you do three chains in total. Then find the stitch at the top of your treble, which is there. Put your hook into there, making sure to keep your yarn that you're working with this side of the bead to keep a nice neat pico. Then do a slip stitch. So, then chain one, then we're going to do two double crochet in that same stitch again down here. Two double crochet, one and, and back into the same stitch, do another double crochet. Then chain two, one and two, and we're going to slip stitch into that same stitch again. Slip stitch, and there we go, there is our second point of our star. So we repeat that another three times. So the first thing to do is move over to our next stitch, which is here. Move over to our next stitch and do a slip stitch. 
chain two and do two double crochet in that same stitch we just slip stitched into two double crochet chain one then we do our treble wrap the arm around our hook twice back into that same stitch again bring the arm through then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two. Then we chain one and then we bring up our bead. Let's bring up our third bead. Chain one to secure. There it is. And then we chain one again. Then we slip stitch into that stitch at the top of our treble which is there and there's our treble just bring your hook down find that stitch make sure your yard is this side of your bead create a nice pico do bring that through the stitch then straight through the loop on your hook do a little slip stitch then we chain one so chaining one in between our double crochets and our treble do two double crochet same stitch again one and another one same stitch then we chain two one and two slip stitch in that same stitch again and there's our third completed point of our star we should have two stitches left so we just repeat the same thing again remember to do a little slip stitch in the next stitch to move over to begin and do the same thing again chain two two double crochet in the same stitch you just slip stitched into one two okay so your two double crochet chain one treble, treble crochet, same stitch again, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, then we chain one and bring up a bead, bead, pop it in there, chain one to secure the bead and then chain one again, slip stitch into that stitch at the top of your treble, and you hook down, make sure your yarn's this side of the bead. Do a little slip stitch. Then chain one, two double crochets in that same stitch again. Two double crochets. Oops, one and another one in the same stitch then we chain two one and two we slip stitch in that same stitch again to finish our point and there's our fourth one and now we just need to do one more so we slip stitch in the last stitch very last stitch let's move it over create our last point chain two two double crochet that same stitch one another one the same stitch chain one don't forget to chain one in between your double crochets and your trebles then we do our treble remember to do your treble bring the arm through Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we chain one and then we bring up our last bead. Where is it, where is it come? Just put it all the way down. <laughs> there we go. Our last bead. And then chain one to secure. And chain one again. 
slip stitch in the top of your treble, that stitch there. So the other side, to create a neat pico. Slip stitch, and then we chain one, two double crochet, that same stitch. I'm running out of time on my camera. <laughs> Another double crochet, same stitch, chain two, one and two, then we slip stitch in that same st stitch to finish. And then just to completely finish, find the very first stitch that you worked into here at the bottom of your first point and just do a little slip stitch into there to finish and there we go we can just cut our yarn and then just sew in your tail ends so i'm just going to thread on this thread again and there we go threaded on my tiny little needle again and it's going to thread this to the back nice and tight, turn it over and then you just sew through a few stitches without stubbing yourself. There we go. And back in the opposite direction a little bit. And then just cut the excess. And at the beginning turn and you can just trim. You can of course do a much neater job than me if you've got more time. And there we go, turning it back over. There is our little five pointed star and at each corner you've got your little beads. And using different, slightly different colour beads really make them stand out as well. They've got little green beads using blue yarn. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Hope you managed to follow along. Like I said, experiment. You don't have to do it with thin yarn and tiny beads. You can just use um, a slightly thicker yarn and some bigger beads if you want to. Just have a play and experiment using the same technique. And uh, you can share your pictures if you want to on my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash forward slash happy berry crochet if you want to. I love seeing your work. And I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember to subscribe. Bye.